Next topic is pointers. So first before going to what pointers is, let's check how to get the address of a particular variable. Whenever we declare a variable, the system allocates an appropriate location somewhere in the memory to hold the value of the variable. Since every byte has a unique address number, this location will have its own address number. Address of a variable is obtained with the help of operator AND that is available in C. We have already seen the use of this address operator in the scanf function. The operator AND immediately preceding a variable returns the address of the variable associated with it. So, for example, we are quite familiar with declaring variables, say int a. If we write like this, if we just mention a, that means the particular value will be saved. But if we write and a, that means it shows the address of a. So, this and symbol is called address operator. And symbol is called address operator. And if we write and just before the variable, that means it returns the address of the variable. So, first in this slide, we learn how to get the address of a particular variable. Okay. And this is a more clear example. So, there are different address locations. And here, first let's check this uh, statement. Int quantity equals 179. Okay. So, we need an integer variable and the variable name is quantity. Data type is int and we initialize it with 179. So, this is the value. Okay. And the address location is say 5000. So, here if this is 5000, then let this be 5000. Okay. Then this is the address location and this is accessed as and quantity. Okay. But we are more interested in the value which is, which is saved in this variable. That will be 179. So, it will be saved here. So, whenever I say quantity, only 179 will be accessed. Only if I write and quantity, the address of the variable quantity will come into picture and that value will be 5000. So, these two are different things. When we declare a variable like this, 5000 represents the address or the location and 179 is the value. So, till now we were discussing variable values only and for scanf only we wrote it like when we uh, enter two values and in scanf you give and a and b that shows that we are where the value is to be saved that is given. So, address of a, address of b like that. And now coming to pointers, pointer is a variable that points to a value or that saves an address location. So, int star p means this star represents pointer, asterisk symbol. It represents that a particular variable is a pointer. Okay. So, pointer saves the address of a particular variable. So, if int star p, those the first statement means we declare a pointer of integer type and p is equal to and quantity. That means now P is storing the address location of quantity. So, here the address location is 5000. So, now what is the value of P? Now, the value of P is 5000. Okay. And P has another location say 5048 which we are not bothered. We are bothered about the address of this variable quantity and that was 5000 and that is now saved in a pointer with the name p. So, p is a pointer and this is a normal integer value. This is an integer pointer. Okay, p is an integer pointer and this points to which variable? It points to quantity. So, p is equal to and quantity means now pointer p is pointing to quantity and both are of which type? Integer type. Only the same type, same type of pointer can point to a particular data. Okay. So, this is the basics of a pointer. So, in this program, we are declaring two variables, say var1, var2. This is a character array and just to check how this address value is saved. So, address of variable var1 is and var1, then variable2 again and var2. But VAR2 here you can see that it is an array. So, first element will be VAR2 0, then VAR2 1, VAR2. And for all these we have given ampersand sign to check if we are getting the address of particular variables. 
I am explaining this because pointers dealing with addresses. So first we should be familiar with how the address is varying. So now let's check the output. Here you can see that 61 ff one c This is the way, uh, address for VAR1. And then this is the VAR2 is an array, character array. And 61 ff one 2 That is the starting location. So if you just mention the name of the array, it represents the starting location of that array. So VAR0, VAR2, 0. First element is also the same. And as it is a character array, it takes only one byte. So consecutive locations we get here. 61 ff of 1 2, 61 ff of 1 3 and 61 ff of 1 4. If it is integer, if it is 10, it is, I, you know that some take 2 bytes and some others take 4 bytes. So here in this processor, it takes 4 bytes. If that be the case, then next second element will be saved after 4 bytes. Okay, it will be like 13, 14, 15 and 16. 16 will be the next location. Here again, a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable that is direct address of the memory location. Like any variable, you must declare a pointer before using it to store any variable address. So, syntax is this data type star variable name. So, int star a, cast star a, if it is float, you can write float. After putting a space, you write star a or star b like that. This is how we declare a pointer. In star IP, double star DP, float star FP, cat star CH. Just like that, we can declare pointers. We could define a pointer variable with an initial value of null. So, these are called null pointers. If we don't have to initialize with any value in the beginning, you can initialize with the null value. And these pointers are called null pointer. Okay, we can initialize with no value. That is null pointer. Now let's check another output. So first I will explain this variable, uh, this program. VAR1 is 20 and VAR2 is 40. So we have two variables and we have two pointers say IP1 and IP2 and IP1 points to first variable. So how I can give that IP1 is equal to and VAR1, IP2 is equal to and VAR2. So here what we are doing, now IP1 is an integer pointer and it points to VAR1 and IP2 points to VAR2. So this is how we initialize the values of pointers with address only. Then we are printing the address of variable 1 and so that we can check if the same value is obtained with IP1. Okay. And IP, IP1 and IP2 values are printed. So naturally what will be the output? This will be printing the address locations of VAR1 and VAR2. Okay. And how to get the value in that address? Get that. We have dereferencing operator star. So star IP1, this will print the value that IP1 is pointing. So value printed will be VAR1. Here it will be the value of VAR2. Because star is the operator that is used to get the value that is pointed by that particular pointer. Okay, then I have declared a variable sum to get the sum of these two values. So VAR1 plus VAR2 instead. Using pointers, we can write star IP1 plus star IP. Okay, so let's check the output. So these are all the variables. Then star IP1 is 20, star IP2 is 40. So sum is star IP1 plus star IP2. That will be 20 plus 40. That will be 60. And instead, if I give like this, if I directly give IP1 plus IP2, this is error because it will be adding the two address locations. So here you can see that it will result in an error. Okay, so it's not possible. So here to get the original value or the real value that we are expecting, we should give star here. Okay, and then we will be getting the output 20 plus 40 that is 60. So this is a simple example int quantity star p. So here p is a pointer whereas quantity and n are normal integer variables whereas p is an integer pointer. 
okay and quantity is a variable the value saved is 179 and p equals and quantity means p is a pointer which contains the address of the variable quantity again n equals star p that means here star p represents the value that it is pointing to so star p means 179 itself so n equals star p means now n values also 179 so n, instead of writing n equals quantity you write n equals star p both will be same so star p returns the value of variable quantity stored in the address being pointed by pointer p so i hope now you have an idea of what a pointer is so pointer is a normal variable but it is used to assign the address of a variable and star is the uh, symbol that we use for pointers and all pointers are of all the different data types like int uh, float char etc and asterisk operator the star is the asterisk operator that is used to get the value that is pointed by the pointer and it is also called dereferencing operator 